the mama and a couple, couple of young'uns. There's another one right under there. Look what I found here. Maybe that's one of theirs. It's Thursday day five, technically six if you want to count Saturday night. But uh, we are, I don't know if you can see much, but that's the direction we're headed to get out today. Hopefully get down to South Lake early enough to get a ride as close to North Lake. So I can get down to town, get some real food. And uh, yeah, we got a big pass, about 1,300 feet of climbing. I think it's about three miles, but I think my day calculated is about nine miles. So 7.30, a little bit after, maybe 7.40 at this point. Gonna get finished packed up here and get the show on the road. So This place was absolutely sublime. Um, I suspect this is part of Ducey Basin, but anyways, on the map, it shows Ducey Basin a little bit further up, but this was a great little stop. And uh, glad I cut out that climb, because last night was a challenge. So, here we go. So according to the map, this is officially Ducey Basin. Pass is up there somewhere. Bishop Pass. And I have gone just about a mile and a half, but I suspect there's probably still about two miles left. Didn't look at the game, but either way, it's a climb where we gotta be, we gotta be around the, the 11,000. I forget what Deucey was at, but it was over the 11,000 and Bishop Pass is 11,009 something, 995 or something like that, I forget. Anyways, I wouldn't mind getting a little bit of a stroll like I'm getting now, because these, these freaking Sierra murder hell steps are just, just a slog. I mean, what do you got here? Some sort of weather antenna, I would suspect. That's kind of neat. I got something over here too. Oh, I better not step on that. So I have a little plaque here describing what this is. California Cooperative Snow Surveyors, Automatic Snow Sensors, promising. Maybe I'll have some good news I'm around the corner up here. Maybe I'll have very bad news. We got something that looks like a pass. Could be just a bench though. Nope. Maybe one more bench. They keep telling us there's no fires. There's no fires anywhere. It's almost like 
some alien landscape. Guess this is the the deer graveyard. These deer got caught in an avalanche. Oh yeah, look, there's some hide. I guess someone was telling me that there's a little avalanche down here that got got these little group of deer. That's a bummer. Look at it, the boats are up there. Cages. Wow, that's kind of cool. There's a hoof, a couple of hooves. That, uh, that's quite the mess. No, no skulls though. Probably buried, but they got take out, taken out pretty good it looks like. It doesn't stink. Well, look what have it that as I crested Bishop Pass hold something in my inner quad on my, on my right leg. Man, it hurts. Five days on the trail and I hurt myself on the home stretch. Come on. So, let's hope some water from Trader Joe's dark chocolate bar and some Advil will get me moving again because I am literally limping along the trail here. This is kind of a bummer because I'm so close and I could be out much quicker than I'm able to get out right now. But uh, anyways, we'll see how that goes. Uh, hopefully the descent isn't too bad. In fact, I don't think it is. Right now we're walking along. This is Long Lake. And then after Long Lake, it's pretty much South Lake. And that's how I get out. South is where the trail comes out. And I'll hitch a ride from there. Fingers crossed. This is the first glimpse of South Lake. Wow. It's looking kind of low. Wow. Yeah, I've seen I've seen South Lake pretty low, but I don't know if it's ever been this low. Maybe it's it's a reservoir. They've got a dam here at the end, so they let out water for hydroelectric or something. I don't know. It was never my favorite lake as a kid to come fishing because it is such a deep lake, as you can see. It's very deep. But I remember as a kid, I say kid as 18, I hiked with a friend all the way around to the end um, and fished over there so it's not the hugest lake but it is pretty deep so there's still a ton of water in there even though it's that low so eric would you do it again absolutely in a heartbeat
That is a great trip. Would you recommend it for uh, intermediate hikers? That depends on how quickly you want to do it, but I'd say if you're going to do it, make sure you're in pretty good hiking shape because it is some climbing. Sounds good. Well, until next time. We made it. We made it. Now I just gotta make it back to North Lake. Let's go hitch a ride. Yeah. Uh, guy who owns the pack station up here at North Lake picked me up as I was getting dropped off by a couple other dudes there right at Aspendale. Uh, they're on the highway and he's like, Why are you go where you need to go? I said, I need to get to North Lake. He's like, Well, you're in luck. Cause that's where I'm headed. So, oh man, having him tell me stories about driving mules into the backcountry for 30 years. He says he's been doing stuff even longer when his family would take uh, pack mules up to Whitney back when they used to do pack mules up to Whitney. So, anyways, I'm gonna drive in there right now, and he's gonna show me a book that I need that I gonna pick up because it's uh, I wrote it down, but it's uh, names and places of the High Sierra, and I'm gonna go home and buy it first thing because that sounds awesome. So, anyways, I'm going into the pack station. So much. Thank you. How are you? I'm, I'm doing fine. Good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Well, that's you okay if I shoot some video of these cute mules? Might take some pictures. Oh. <laughs> So, I'm gonna go in and get some stuff. They get some food and then go home. Get a real shower. We smoked barbecue, Texas barbecue. Let's see what we got. Thank you.